every time. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. We're talking practical application in partnering with the Lord through prayer. So I'm thinking the conversation is I'm praying for my son, uh, my sons. Uh, Lord, awaken their spirits. You know, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to them. And my thought is, of course he's going to reveal himself. Like, he wants to reveal himself. Why am I even praying this? You know, like, he'll do it in his time. He knows. He knows their hearts. He knows when they're open. You know, he'll do it. And the Lord is speaking to me. I'm partnering with you. I, I, um... I give you words to speak, and because I've given you authority uh, in your mouth, power in your tongue, I give you the words to speak. You speak, I move. This is how um, he's revealed that he works. We speak and he moves. Ask and you will receive. Uh, anything that you ask for my, from my Father in my name, it'll be given to you, you know. Um, so why are we asking when we know he's given us everything? Like, he's, he's given himself to us. He's given his resources to us. So why do we have to ask? Um, because he partners with us. Because he, his desire is to work in relationship with us, work yeah. through us. And to know his will. And so yes. We to his and we, ask, we have to know what his will is, and, and we ask according to his will. And he trains us up. Lord, how do we pray? How can I pray effectively? Lord, how do I... Um, how can I convey your heart here? How can I um, speak your truth, speak your will over this situation? Yeah. Um, do I know the Lord wants to touch uh, my boys? He, does, he, does he want to reveal himself, reveal how good and how real and, yeah. um, and uh, who he is to them? Uh, of course he does. So why isn't that happening? Well, he's partnering with me and he's given me authority in their lives uh, over my home and and I'm in relationship with him uh, I'm stewarding these boys so when I partner with the Lord in surrender and in relationship with the Lord and I go okay Lord this is what you want for yes. my boys yes so I'm going to declare over my boys yes. this this and this Lord you love them you're pursuing them Lord reveal your heart to them uh, uh, give them encounters with you uh, fill their um Fill their mind with dreams from you, yeah. Lord, um, uh, and interpretations, Lord. Give them uh, a sense of your presence. He goes, okay, yeah. and does it. And the, the things that I'm praying are inspired from relationship yeah. in him, from who I know him to be and, and what he's conveying about these, yeah. about my boys. So, um, and he can only do that through, like, he, you're that connection with his boys, mm -hmm. which are your offspring, your yeah. boys. Mm -hmm. He's making that connection and revealing himself. You're his. You're their covering. Yeah. You know, and that that you you know, and and I thought too is that's part of this taking dominion of the earth. The the what he gave Adam. It's yeah. A continuation of Adam. You know, you speak the name of that animal, and it will be. Yeah. Same. You know. That now becomes that animal's identity. Mm -hmm. Same, uh, is it the same thing as what we're talking about with your kids? That's a really good point of the what I speak over my boys. I have authority to speak. We have power, yes. and and we talk about that like we're driving past the construction work on um, that road, and Cameron's like, "That's gonna take forever," and I'm like, "Watch your mouth, son! Like, <laughs> don't speak that. It'll be done this year, in the that's name of Jesus, you know? <laughs> right? I, that's." government work it's going to take years to do it well maybe not in the name of jesus yeah, amen. so what i speak over my boys holds weight and power because the lord has given us why else would he say the um the tongue has the power of life and death yes unless it actually had the power of life and death you know we can't be flippant with what we yeah. speak and if we're surrendered with the lord if we're surrendered to the lord and in relationship we speak what he speaks yeah, and that's power. powerful but if we're not in relationship, if we're disconnected from the Lord, even as Christians disconnected from the Lord and go, well, he's a lost cause. Watch what you speak. Wow. You know, Car you know, Cameron's just a mess. He's he's struggling. It's just it, like he's got a he's just gonna struggle with this. No, Amen. you know, that's a, that's a 
that is a lot said right there. It's a rebuke. Mm. It's a correction. Mm -hmm. It's a, an exhortation and encouragement. I mean, there's a lot. What you yeah. Just said. Yeah, we have to, as parents, as guardians, as uh, as people in authority over children or anybody, really, how we speak oh, about yeah. who they are, how what we speak to them, what we speak about them, um, it holds a lot of weight because we have been given a part uh, just in who we are as people, as image bearers, yeah. um, we have power in our tongue. And so we have to be careful anyway with what we yeah. speak. But in surrender to Holy Spirit and relationship with the Lord, there is so much power that comes through us. That's right. why I feel like the Lord keeps reminding me, like, with the fullness of the Holy Spirit within me, he keeps saying, like, you are a force to be reckoned with in surrender to the Holy Spirit. When you're in relationship and the Holy Spirit and my Holy Spirit is working through you, you're a force to be reckoned with because that's real power. And there's real power in how I speak over my kids, how I speak over my husband, to my husband, to my employees, to friends, to all of that. Yeah. It's, that's important. That's amazing. Yeah. Lord, thank you. So good. Yeah. That was a divine moment right there. Awesome. <laughs> I got to go. Bye.